today is December 22nd, shortest day of the year, and that is good news because from now for the next six months, each day is going to get a little bit longer and a little bit warmer. Even our gnomes at the front door have gotten into the holiday season with their little festive attire. You would think that Christmas would be the easiest time of the year to create a YouTube video, especially one about the Bible. Yeah. The problem is, in the past two and a half years, I've done videos on Advent, Luke's account of Jesus' birth, Mary's story, the Magi, Epiphany, Mary and Joseph's flight into Egypt. So let's take a slightly different approach this year. How about I tell you about this little book, why I like it, and give a copy away. How about two copies? Even our gnomes out the front door are in a festive mood for Christmas. So let's jump into this video. My name is David Paris. You're watching the Caffeinated Bible, and the goal of this channel is to take what I've been teaching on seminary and make it available to anyone, anywhere on YouTube. So if you like these videos, please give them a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, that way YouTube will let you know when I post new content. But I digress. Let's get back to our video. I've used Morna Hooker's book, Beginnings, The Keys That Open the Gospels, for over 20 years in my classes. And in the course evaluations after the class is over, the students usually say that this was their favorite book to read that quarter. Now I'm going to give two copies of this book away, and I'll explain how to win one at the end of this video. So stick around if you want to get a chance to get one. Beginnings is a very short book. It's only 112 pages long. It's not technical, nor is it overly academic. But don't let that mislead you. Morna Hooker is one of the real heavyweights of contemporary biblical studies. She earned her PhD from the University of Durham and then went on to teach at King's College in London in 1961. After about 10 years there, she moved on to Oxford and then, in 1976, she was appointed to the Lady Margaret's Professor of Divinity Chair at Cambridge, which she held until 1998. So, you ask, why is this so important? The Lady Margaret Chair of Divinity at Cambridge is one of the oldest professorships at Cambridge. It was established by King Henry VII's mother, Lady Margaret Beaufort, in 1502. This is perhaps one of the most important chairs of theology that someone could hold. Since 1502, it has been held by 51 different people, some of them real theological heavy hitters like Erasmus. All of them men, except for Morna Hooker. Talk about shattering a glass ceiling. Morna Hooker is currently Professor Emeritus of Divinity at Robson College, Cambridge, England. She is co-editor of Journal of Theological Studies and the author of nine books, including Adam to Christ, by digress. What I really want to talk about is this wonderful little book she has written, Beginnings. Now this book has a beginning as well. In 1996, she was invited to the University of Victoria in British Columbia to give the John Albert Hall Lectures. The four chapters in this book represent the four lectures that she delivered. Each chapter focuses on how the different gospel authors begin their accounts of Jesus' life, ministry, death, and resurrection. She shows us how the authors give us hints and guides the reader for what to expect as you read or listen to the gospel and how it will end. Mark opens on a very dramatic key. Matthew sets us up with a prophetic key. Luke wants us to view Jesus' life through a spiritual key and John threw a glorious key to understand his gospel. Each one of the gospel authors uses conventions and literary styles from their day to introduce their gospel. And endings helps you pick up on those keys so that you understand how they're shaping and setting you up for reading the gospels. For an encore, she wrote another book, Endings, Invitations to Discipleship. I hope you're beginning to see how great theological minds work here in titling books. If you think that theology is dry and dusty and difficult to read, prepare to have your preconceptions shattered. This is a quick and easy read. It stimulates your heart and your mind, and behind it stands one of the great theological thinkers of the 20th century. 
So now we come to the part you have all been waiting for. Drum roll, please. What do you have to do to win one of these two copies? And notice how the cover is different on these two copies. That's a great sign that a book has been printed and reprinted when it has a lot of different covers to it. First, you need to subscribe to the channel. Second, drop a positive comment below the video and tell me why you would like a copy of the book. Third, you need to have a mailing address within the United States or Canada. I don't make any money off the YouTube video and so I need to watch my budget. And finally, you need to do this before January 15th of 2023. That's three weeks from now and I should give you plenty of time to comment. I'll announce who will get one of these two books on the video after January 15th, 2023. If you would like a copy of Beginnings for Yourself, I will have a link to it below where you can get it from the publisher Wiffenstock or Amazon.com. This book is clear, accessible, and very well written. You can use this for your own devotions, teaching Sunday schools, or preaching from, or in my case, I've used it in seminary level classes. I can't recommend this book enough. It's excellent, it's cheap, and it's a great read. Until next week, I shall leave you with the word of peace.